Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy, where we rehab the mind to revive your body. Today we're going to springboard off a wildly popular video. If you haven't watched it, it's that VOR gaze. It's helped a lot of people with vertigo or dizziness really, because vertigo is actually sometimes something that mechanical thing. VOR, that vestibular ocular reflex, is more of a sensory issue that can also disrupt our ability to be more balanced and less dizzy. Why do I feel dizzy? So we want to build on top of that. And if you haven't watched, like I said, please watch that first. I explained through it pretty thoroughly. We're just gonna get right to it. And we're gonna try this exercise, the VOR with one eye. Stay tuned. All right, just like the previous videos, what we want to do is we want to I mean, a stick, a pen, your finger. You want to be able to locate what the right distance is away from your nose or your eyes. So we'll start with one eye. We'll use my right eye. I know it's the better eye. Uh, and you want to be able to bring that till it turns about two or this, this stick looks about, it starts getting fuzzy and start, starts it's almost splitting into two sticks. Uh, and that's about the distance. Ideally in a perfect world is about thumb, thumb length. So you can see I'm a little bit further than thumb length but as you improve it should get closer and closer what you want to then do is you can either do where you just move the stick and you track and you want to be able to track and if you really look at my eyes I'm able to kind of hit the full spectrum about here this is a good I don't know how many degrees but I'm definitely getting close to not 180 but I would say I'm getting about 145 degrees uh, of the sphere uh, the other one is actually the, also you can just kind of close your eyes and get it till you start losing it. Now as you get better, so like I said, this is when it turns about two for me now. And it's a little bit closer than initially. So I can go this way, and this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Now, or I can, like I said, do it this way this way and then as I get closer you can see if I move it really close my spectrum is actually about here I kind of lose it already here and I lose it right about here so it's not as long we want to get wider and wider that's the goal so you're gonna go here and so you want to get to right the barrier right about there is good for me and then I can work that and as I improve after a few repetitions I want to be able to get closer and I can get and you can see within 10 seconds, I'm already out here, and my eyes are stronger, tracking better. So we'll go to the left. I know this one's a little bit worse, because I got a lot of issues there, and you've seen from previous videos. I think I just had a concussion there, probably from the past, and um, really made things different. So things get to about two here, and you can see it's uh, almost uh, almost three thumb lengths, versus the other one was more like two, two thumb lengths, so that's already dysfunctional. Um, so you can see when you do two eyes, you you can cap you can compensate. So you don't want to compensate. That's why I decided one eye was going to be the best. Up so over here is about as far as I can go, and then I can go to about here. It's really not much. I mean, compared to the other side, it's maybe a third range. So let's say I'm a right-handed batter and. You know, I've got to look this direction. It makes life a little bit more difficult. So here, and I can tell it's getting a little bit easier. So there. And if I take it past the limit, I don't know if my eyes bounce, but or my eyes move up or down, or they they just don't follow. Let's see here. I can't. Once I lose that, my eyes have really trouble focusing. So, right there, if I go past it, I can't go past it. And once again, I can do the head thing too. So you wanna mix it up, but once again, the head thing, it's not as much range as the past. So, but let's see this again. I'm getting closer though. I'm about two thumb lengths now. So I can tell that there's some gain. Just for giggles, maybe you can do this. 
that's poor coordination. But give that a shot. I already saw a little bit more improvement from this eye and uh, hopefully I'm not tripping over myself uh, as much on this left side or running into the wall as much. Sometimes the wall just comes out and reaches me and hits me on the left side, I swear, like I didn't even see it. it makes a little bit more sense that, you know, my eye periphery is really a little bit more narrow than my right side. Hopefully you gave this exercise a shot. One eye can be very difficult. And as you can see, usually for me, my left eye gives me a lot more problems. So we wanna be able to improve on those things. But this isn't the exercise that is for everyone. So if you haven't tried the other exercise, please watch that, explain that thoroughly. And also sometimes the things that could go wrong. So you want, we're gonna link that above. But check with your healthcare professional, make sure this is the right exercise for you. And if you're doing this on your own, you're, be, please use your caution, listen to your body, and don't put yourself in more symptoms because that can possibly happen. I want you to know that. We love creating all kinds of new things for you to improve on in your lives and have better quality of life. So we'd love for you to subscribe and stay tuned with our latest videos. And if you tried this exercise and you found it helpful, then please leave comments below and leave that like. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.